Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your general love reading for October 2022. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. It is a general reading so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation and it also means that the roles can be reversed. But if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box. I am doing this a little bit differently this time instead of looking at your energy and your person's energy equally I will be focusing more on you that's just how I feel guided to do it this time around so let's see what wants to come through for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs first half of October 2022 let's see for the situation we have the fool crossed by the devil Okay, so we do have Aries showing up here. We also have Capricorn showing up here. Um, somebody here is wanting to take a new path, a leap of faith, a risk maybe, um, towards a new beginning, but there is a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear that is holding this person back. I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with. Take it as it makes sense. Um, but there is a lot of fear here. We'll see more when we clarify. Let's see the the near the sorry the recent past we have temperance. So whatever this is, I feel like it's been going on for quite some time. There's been a lot of pro, either procrastination or you have been learning a lot of patience through this, or you feel like you've been really really patient and I don't know how long that's going to last actually let's see for your consciousness here we have the eight of cups for your subconscious the knight of pentacles so ooh, you're thinking about walking away from this you're thinking about possibly having to detach or maybe you're already doing that um, but this is definitely something that you are thinking about and I feel like this has actually been going on in your subconscious for quite some time. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles in your subconscious, this is something that you have been like building up towards or working towards at a very steady pace. Your energy currently, we have the Tower. Okay, so it might feel like, you know, you... You are either like going through like a crisis mode or you're just feeling like, yeah, you know, like this tower needs to fall. Like I need to make a big, big shift here. Something needs to break. Um, cannot continue on in this way for much longer. Let's see the external influence, which would be your person's energy. We have the lovers. Okay, so also Gemini and Sagittarius. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even mention that Sagittarius, your energy showing up here. Um, so yeah, both Gemini and Sagittarius also showing up here. You could be dealing with any of these signs or just any sign. So this is somebody that definitely feels a lot of love for you that, you know, they feel the strength of this connection. This feels like it is a connection that was meant to be. But at the moment, yeah, it feels like you're trying to detach. Um, let's see the near future, we have the Five of Swords and potential outcome or message for you, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, um, Sagittarius. I actually feel like this is you moving in a direction where, you know, you you might feel like you need to betray something here, you, or that you need to um, give up something in order to have something else. So we'll see. We'll see when we clarify. I definitely feel that the message here for you is, you know, to trust your intuition because I feel like there might be a part of you that's not trusting your intuition or, you know, you might not be trusting what is happening in this connection. And it does feel like there's a lot of unknowns here with that fool being the very first card out. So let's actually start clarifying and see what is going on here. So for the fool and the devil, please. What is this about? What is going on here? The Knight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, yeah, so I kind of feel like this is your person's energy, actually. Even though, like I, I said, I want to focus more on you, I do feel like this might be your person by the looks of everything else. Um, but, of course, take it as it resonates. Um... 
there's been a lot of, or there is a lot of back and forth. I do feel like someone takes action towards this new beginning, um, but possibly, you know, doesn't go all the way through with it, right? They, whoever this is, they feel like, you know, taking this action, this new beginning would actually bring a lot of love. Like this is happiness. This is fulfillment. This is pure love with the 10 of cups. Um, but there's, there's a lot of emotional confusion, confusement, um, attached to this in some way. And this is kind of like something that keeps this person in this negative pattern with the devil of like going around and around in circles, even though it's like love is waiting for them, like right there. And it's because there's this fear. There's some emotional confusion here, um, which I don't know exactly what that confusion is about. It might be different for each of them. It could be a fear of the unknown, of not knowing what is to come. Or of, you know, starting this new beginning, just feeling like it would be a big risk. However, I again, I do feel like there's some kind of an attachment here that is holding them back. Even though they do know that this, that taking this leap would actually lead to happiness. Could be that there's some doubt, you know, like, you know, they begin to doubt this, like whether it's actually true. Um... And it could be because there is some other attachment for some of them. Let's see temperance for the recent past. The two of wands and the five of cups. Yeah, th there's been a lot of waiting here. A lot of procrastination. Um, and I feel like, you know, you've already been through this phase where because it just felt like you know things never just didn't take off or they didn't you know move in this direction that devil's energy was not eliminated from the equation here you know you you felt this sense of loss you felt like okay you know what like I have to say goodbye to this I feel like you're still kind of in that, like you haven't fully completed that, but that has already begun. Like you're already feeling, you know, this sadness, this grief of possibly, you know, having waited for so long for something that has not come to be just yet. Let's see the Eight of Cups. The Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So again, I mean, we have like all these like time waiting procrastination cards. Um, you're you're trying to leave this behind you. You're trying to walk away from this. You're trying to. I feel like you're imagining your future here and you want to see yourself being happy. You want to see yourself having everything that it is that you deserve. You want to see yourself, you know, really just being in your power. And this is what's motivating you to detach yourself from this situation. I feel like this situation has actually proven to be um, pretty toxic for you in the long run. Um, like, I don't feel like this person is toxic necessarily um it's not that the relationship is toxic it's the situation that makes it toxic so there is a difference it's hard to explain right now like that would take me a while um but there is a difference so it's not the person who is like you know has like a whole bunch of like let's say disorders or emotional like um instabilities that make them a toxic person it's the situation that has been created, even if it is by this person. It's, I mean, it could be that the other person has created this situation, which is toxic, but it's the situation that is proving to be toxic for you and unhealthy. And so this is why you're wanting to walk away from this and you're trying to envision yourself as being empowered. And this is actually making you more, more empowered and it is actually making you also more desirable. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Okay, so Gemini also showing up here. This is a decision you've been trying to make for a while, and I feel like, you know, it's been difficult because you've envisioned, you know, this 
connection as being something long term, as being, you know, your your forever, basically, um, or just feeling like this could be something that, you know, could be very, very stable. And I feel like you also felt very committed to this. You felt like, you know, this is it. And I mean, subconsciously, I feel like, you know, this is a connection that you do still want. But you're trying to think of your future. You're trying to put yourself first here. And that's actually what I see coming up for you with that Five of Swords. But let's see that tower for your current energy. The Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're, you're feeling your emotions. You're feeling your emotions. Um, but I also feel that you are bringing these emotions into balance somehow. Like this tower that is presenting itself to you, like you're able to handle it. It does feel sad. It does feel um, emotional for you. But at the same time, you are able to to fully cope with whatever it is that is being presented to you here. And I feel like, you know, you realize that, you know, you, you want to walk away from this and yeah, you know, it's, it's a crisis. It is some kind of a crisis, but spirit is saying here, you know, that you can totally keep this tower and this crisis in some kind of a balance where you don't, you're not freaking out. You're not panicking. You're just realizing that, okay, it's a crisis and I'm just going to breathe my way through it. So let's see the lovers for this other person here. We have the King of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So it could be that for some of you, this is a person who needed to make a decision, um, possibly even between two different love connections here for some of them, or just between two different energies. This person definitely feels a lot of love for you. They have what it takes to also like actually come forward. Like that's there with this King of Wands. They have everything they need to overcome whatever this challenge is, which I feel is that devil's energy here, but they are a little bit defensive to it. I see them being a little bit guarded. So they might be coming off that way to you as well. Like they're just, um, they might be presenting themselves as being defensive towards whatever it is that's happening here. But know that deep down though, they do feel this love, they do feel this connection for you. And I feel like, you know, slowly but surely they're, it's like they're building up this courage. Not only that, I'm getting that this might be a person who actually does need to stand up for their own self in some way, possibly against that devil's energy. And I do see them able to do that. And I feel like they are moving in that direction here of being able to stand up for themselves. But they're also being a little bit defensive towards you. Um, and it could be because, you know, they can sense you trying to walk away from them. So let's see that five of swords for the near future. <laughs> that devil showing up again, um, Capricorn and the five of swords again. I'm trying to understand if this is you or them. I actually get that it's both because we do have the Five of Swords showing up twice. So I get that one of the Five of Swords is you and the other one is them. So almost like you're mirroring each other in terms of standing up for yourself, having to sacrifice something in order to get what it is that you want in the good way. So, you know, whether that means disappointing other people, especially this devil's energy, whatever that is, whatever it is, this, this attachment is. So for you, I feel like, you know, you're saying, no, you know, I got to walk away and betray this, um, this toxicness. So it, does, it might feel like it's a betrayal, right? What you are doing, walking away from this, but it's not, it's looking out for your own best interests and saying goodbye to that unhealthy situation. And then um, similarly, the other person is actually doing the same. Whatever that devil is, it's like this person um, standing up for their own self, putting their own best interest first rather than giving in to something that is 
toxic and that could be anything it could even be an addiction um, another relationship being a workaholic it could be you know just about anything and it does feel like they're sacrificing something so that's what makes it hard all right so let's see the seven of swords The Magician and the Two of Cups. I love how we just keep getting like these positive cards at the end here. Um, even if it's clarifying a card that doesn't seem to be all that positive um, initially. So the message here is that yes, love is possible. This love connection is definitely possible. It's something that you know, can be manifested. But the message here is, you know, to do what it is that you feel like you need to do without feeling like you are betraying anything. You're not betraying anything. You're not betraying yourself. You're not, um, you know, it, it's not you being deceptive in any way. It's you standing up for your own self and putting your needs and best interest first and that is something that I feel like you know you are learning and it's a positive thing you're not betraying you're not being deceptive you know it's like once you do that that five of swords you know putting yourself first rather than you know trying to please other people or just putting other people's needs first you know that's when you actually manifest love And this could even apply to your person because I feel like there's there's some mirroring here, as I said before. Okay. Sagittarius. Let's see the final message for you, if this resonated. And if it did, please do give me a thumbs up. And we have Unfinished Symphony. Yeah, this story is not over. This story is not over. You know, you might be walking away, you might need to detach, but there's something here that is not 100% done. And I do feel like it is, you know, it is going to play out. And in order for that to play out, you have to put yourself first. Plain and simple. So that is it, Sagittarius. Those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.